Hoa wants me to build a shorter fence? Got it. I'm piggybacking off of the Hoa trend going around here. This story was relayed to me by one of my favorite professors over five years ago, so my apologies if the details are foggy or inaccurate. My professor was a very, very private person, the sort of guy who would hesitate to tell you his favorite color if you hadn't known him long enough. He had recently had an incredibly nosy couple move in next door and realized the flimsy four-foot fence he had got for the dog wouldn't keep out peeping eyes. So he installed a fence. But instead of using a standard size, which he knew his neighbors would peer over, he built an eight-foot fence. It wasn't even a week before Hoa was on his ass, threatening every fine they could and claiming he couldn't have a fence over six feet tall. So, being a dutiful citizen, he called the fence company to uninstall said fence. While the fence was being taken down, he closely examined the Hoa handbook on the precise definition of a fence. He installed a new six-foot fence that fit every single regulation, but with a three-foot brick wall beneath it. Edit. A lot of people are pointing out they've seen a story like this here or on Tumblr. I acknowledge karma farming is a major thing, but I am relaying the story as I heard it. I have plenty more from him, granted they don't fit in this sub. He used them to illustrate points mostly, like one about the horrendous public transport of Galveston where he literally ran through people's yards. I don't know if his stories were true, honestly I bet many of them weren't. But he was a real man. I'd share his name if I felt it was okay. He served Cuban coffee during office hours. We got a random sub toward the end of the semester because he had a triple bypass that he had told none of us about. Truthfully, I don't know if he's alive even, which was one of the reasons I wanted to share this. I have no way to make people believe that I am telling the truth, but if you look through the comments here, several people say they've heard of or even done similar things. There is a similar story about I think Jim Barksdale, co-founder of Netscape. He wanted to build a fence but the city said it was too big, so he built a hill with a smaller fence on top of it. This reminds me of a guy the first worked as construction worker in his new house. For many years ago, he wanted a huge concrete wall next to his driveway. I'm talking about the entire length of his land huge. City planning didn't allow it. Not a chance that he was permitted to put something so large on the border of his land. He was a well-off dude and he let his lawyers loose on the matter. He really wanted that wall. A month later, his wall was there with a mailbox fixed to it, all within the city planning law. It turns out that city planning stated that he could build a mailbox on a fixed structure. They never gave precise size requirements for the fixed structure. The Hoa is somehow both the most American and un-American thing I've ever heard of at the same time. Exactly the same thing happened with me. We live in an old house in a village in rural England. We are only the second family to ever live there after the very elderly original owners moved out. It has a very large L-shaped garden going around the side in front of the house and a tiny 3 meters by 3 meters. Back courtyard garden. The property is strange as our front gate is down a secluded footpath but the side of our property abuts the main road. The old boy who lived here before had a very small white picket fence around the garden right next to the main road. He used to be into his gardening and would chat to people over the fence and at the bus stop on the road. He also let people cut Theo the garden to the village green rather than walking round. We have three children and after several incidences of delivery people and even villagers jumping the fence to use our garden as a shortcut. We decided to put a six-feet fence up for safety. Meaning people had to walk around our garden and our kids could be out there in peace. Not two days later we got a letter from the parish council saying six-feet fences are not allowed at the front of a property and it needs to be four feet. Thus was odd as the fence in question was at the side of our property. We were not addressed on the main road but on the road the footpath leads to so I ignored the letter. 
Again they wrote to us and said they'd be reporting us to the planning office or something if we didn't take it down. I decided to write back saying that it is the side of our property and said any more letters will result in the fence being painted shocking pink. They were very, very preoccupied with what the village looked like. They obviously checked and confirmed what I said as I received no more letters and it's been 10 years. They go low you go high. Some big rock band member had a big piece of property with a conventional house on it. Many years ago he decided he wanted an off-grid home on one of his hills to be powered by solar panels, toilet on a septic tank, and he wanted a well near a creek that could be pumped up to a cistern on the hill. Had an architect draw everything up and submitted it to the city. Of course they refused it. The architect called to see when the permit would be approved, and was informed of refusal. He said, give me a day. At no charge, he made a few minor changes, and resubmitted the plans as a barn with an office. It's legal to have running water, electricity, and a toilet in a barn. I did this last year to hide my pool from the perverts next door watching my teenage daughters sunbathe and swim. The wall was bent out of shape about my six-foot fence. Four foot is the max. So I installed eight foot bushes to cover the six-foot fence and told them I had that section replaced. They only cared about the 15-foot section that could be seen from the street. The fence is still there. But you can't see the top two feet. As a side note, they lost their drone when they tried spying on another neighbor's daughter and he blew it out of the sky with a 12 gauge. Their house is up for sale. So it'll be nice to get some new neighbors. I hope. HOAs are ridiculous. The fence gate here was rotting and falling off, so Phil puts in a new one. The letter from the HOA arrives, the new fence you out and wasn't approved, you can't have that. So he takes down the nice new fence and puts back the old rotting one. Much better. The HOA approves. WDF. Isn't the whole point of the HOA to keep everyone's property values up? My parents have a raised house. 1M, 3FT. To allow for a big basement. The terrace in the backyard is on that 1 meter level. Since code specifies a max fence height of 1.8 meters from the ground the fence sits on, they effectively have a 2.8 meters, 9 FT, border with their neighbors when taking the terrace height into account, while on our side it only looks 1.8 meters, so does not look stupid. The neighbors are actually the parents of one of my best friends, and have huge plants, trees on that side of their backyard so they don't mind. When I was a kid, my dad had bought a house that had been foreclosed on in a gated community. After multiple tickets from the WA for having an enclosed trailer on the property, the WA found out that since the property was bought on foreclosure, the property no long fell under WA covenants. Edited for clarity. Something tells me he was an engineering professor. I had a professor who was incredibly smart. He was also a crafty sob. The guy already had four completely unrelated degrees and in his 60s he got his law degree. In part he did it because he was a lifelong learner. But it was also because the university that he worked for built some vent or condenser for various utilities near his property line. He sued the university to get them to change the design and he represented himself in the case. There is something about the fact that he works for the school. Got a free degree through the school. Since he was faculty. And then sued that same school that made the guy a legend amongst his students. This same thing happened to my parents with their neighbor. They wanted a privacy fence but you're not allowed any privacy fences in their neighborhood. So they went to the handbook and read the rules. They now have a six-foot-tall solid brick wall around their pool and patio area. Guy must have had a lot of money to burn. 
the malicious compliance is dot 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 built on a good foundation i'm beginning to learn you need a lot of money to be maliciously compliant well six foot fence is legal and a three foot brick retaining wall on sloping land would be allowed especially if the wall is inside the property he owns and the land on his side is built up to that height afterwards with the proper permits from the local municipality just has to build the brick wall to code but carefully make sure the builders built it ugly either bare brick with unraked joints or a plain bagwash alone on the exposed brick or even concrete blocks with the correct drainage and backfill to not pool water but let it percolate through to the other side and grow a nice algal and moss bed our neighborhood only allows six foot fences so we have 10 foot tall hedges instead i am a home contractor and recently did something very similar client had a steep slope in the backyard to where the house was a good bit higher than the property line in back where the privacy fence was original six feet fence wasn't tall enough in the house behind them and their yard was clearly visible from the client's back deck but the wall wouldn't let them install an eight feet fence even though the circumstances of the slope meant it wouldn't be any taller than any other fence around them so instead we built about a three feet bulkhead and then a six feet fence on top of that totaling about nine feet of height coverage now the client can entertain and barbecue and all that jazz without his behind the fence neighbors being able to see in from their living room windows hoas can be so petty sometimes so you have to be petty back my uncle and aunt did this for their fence their side yard faces a street and they wanted a private garden without people seeing everything when the city kept refusing because it was too tall they couldn't have it taller than five feet the reason was it wasn't a backyard a lawyer friend told them they could build a retaining wall to keep their soil from eroding and then the five foot fence on top of it worked perfectly the west garden is a beautiful place and it's quite in peaceful without having the neighbors walk by and look in i've lived in both wa and non neighborhoods no difference both were nice. I don't see any value in having a wa. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.